Okay, this video is for Fall Gaming 81, whose question is, your question is, how do I balance school, um, work, and soccer, and you say you only have maybe two days off, not including the weekend, so you have a total of four days off. Um, so I've got two thoughts on this. The first is that, you know, to spend 10 to 15 minutes a day um, just practicing can really um, take you far, right? It took me so long. I mean, I've been playing soccer for 27 years and it hasn't been until the last three months, maybe six months that I've really thought about my own personal practice routine. But right? I spent hours and I spent over 10,000 hours easily going to practices, going to games, traveling for all those things. But I never really thought about a daily practice as like a dedication, a meditation. So I think that's something that you could do as a foundation that's gonna, you know, keep maybe keep you injury free and really progress as a player so you can maximize your joy, right? Maximize your joy as a player. Um, in terms of um, balancing, I think you gotta be really clear to yourself about your priorities, right? So school's definitely priority. Um, work also priority. Um, this guy, Jim Rohn, he says, don't work. He says, you gotta work, work on yourself. Work on yourself more than your job. So you wanna make sure you're growing more. And I'm not saying neglect your, your work responsibilities, right? Super important to earn a living. But I think y you want to start to say, okay, if I could live a rich life, what does that look like? You know, that could mean traveling a lot. That could mean, um, you know, it, it could mean anything. It could be whatever is, is a, in, if you envision a, a good life, what does that look like? And you could start to, you know, you're not supposed to know the answer, but you know, you could say, okay, have my day and I, you know, gotta take care of certain things, right? The things that matter the most come before the things that matter the least. So, you know, um, like I was working at one point um, maybe seven days a week and I had a, a, a sporadic schedule and I thought to myself, okay, what if I could design it where I could group, I could group three days in a row off to take, to do, invest in my own life. And then what I did was I made it so that I, you know, I had to bargain, I had to earn some double shifts. So I chose to work on the hardest, most challenging day because no one else wanted to do it. So I said, okay, now I'm now if I can work more doubles, I worked two doubles on the hardest days of the week. So I cut my work schedule from seven days of sporadic work to two days all day. And what this did was, um, this allowed me to grow my life on a deeper level because instead of all the time back and forth to work, I almost batched my work, right? Because I arrived at work earlier in the day, right, close to, to um, noon, and then I worked for uh, 13 hours straight, got out at two in the morning, whatever. And then I did that on a, so I did that on a Tuesday, and then I did that on a Saturday. So now I have, you know, so then I would have Wednesday, Wednesday all day, Thursday all day, Friday all day, to just do whatever the most important thing is, right, you wake up, you say, okay, if I could only, what's the most important thing I get done? And then, right, is it start a business? Is it, you know, is it, is it volunteer at an organization where someone works, you know, you kind of have to say, learn from the best people, right? One time I drove to, to train with Louis Simmons at Westside Barbell. It took me 16 plus hours to get there. I had to hitch a ride from Rhode Island to New Jersey. And then from New Jersey, I, I drove to, to Ohio. And uh, it kind of changed the way I, I, I kind of operated because not only was it super challenging, but um, um, it was a whole lot of fun and it kind of rose to the challenge. So the whole point is, you know, it doesn't have to be for weightlifting, right? It could be for, um, it could be for yoga, right? Seek out the best yoga instructors you could shadow with them, volunteer, or sit in on a class. Come on in. You're okay. It's fine. The whole point is that you've got to be thoughtful about the
the ideal life you want to live and shrink that down to, okay, today's, the things you do every day matter more than the things that you do once on occasion. So, right, be very frugal with the things in your life that are useless or the, right, if you're spending money on things that are making your life worse, you gotta kinda be hyper, you know, invest in the things that bring you joy and that challenge you and you want to get rid of or remove all the things that are bringing you down that includes people, right? If people are bringing you down or being negative who not, don't want the best for you, you gotta cut those people out of your life or at least limit their influence. Um, so yeah, you wanna kind of, um, so again, let's say you wanna coach, you wanna play at a high level. You gotta seek out the best players in your area or even not in your area, best coaches in your area. If you know there's high level club teams, high level coaches, if there's a college coach, you wanna either volunteer or shadow them or just watch them or just reach out, what great books can I check out, what resources can I check out, kind of dive deep into, um, dive deep into your life. Muhammad Ali used to ask kids, he would ask kids, um, very young kids, whenever like we bumped into them, he'd say, what do you want to be when you grow up? Because when Muhammad Ali was young, he made a decision, right? He made a decision after his bike was stolen, his bike was stolen and then he said, I'm gonna, Find, find the person and fight him. And I think it was a cop who said, well, do you know how to fight? And then he thought, he said, well, no, I don't know how to fight. So he made the decision to learn how to fight. And this was around the time where one of, uh, one of someone he knew got uh, lynched, right? A kid his age got lynched for a crime that he didn't commit. So he made the decision to be the, uh, the best boxer of all time. So I'm not saying your goal is to, to be the best soccer player of all time, but the the point of the story is that you want to go towards your kind of work towards your beautiful life, whatever that means, and just ask a lot of questions from the people who have accomplished the things in the way or in the direction who would love to share advice with you if you're genuine, if you're thoughtful, and um, and you're sincere about your goals. So, uh, right, be honest with yourself about a rich life, and then start to doing the little things every day that'll get yourself towards there. So I hope I hope that helped some of those ideas, but um, reach out with any questions. All right, thank you.